Hello everyone, welcome back to whatever this thing is. This time it is this thing. The SH Figure Arts knockoff Jiraiya. Um Yeah. I got this guy for about ten American dollars from AliExpress. Yeah. Um so don't expect too much of them. Uh, it is kind of good, better than a certain one that I don't want to ever discuss. But yeah. So let's start with uh, the accessories. First, we have the popsicles that he shared with Naruto. Very nostalgic, very sad. Mm. Yeah. We also have his um, his first book that he wrote, that he gave um, Naruto after he died. Right? And uh, just a comparison here it is with the each H a tactics. I had to actually read it because I forgot which one it is. Which just surprises me because that means I know sort of Japanese, which I don't, just a little bit, enough to, to know the title. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it comes with several hands. Um, comes with a pair of gripping hands for the for both the book I suppose and the popsicles I can tell there are like tabs there for those uh, things uh, the backings of his hand wrist armor I don't know it's it's like pads of some sorts right you know protection and stuff like that he's a ninja what do you expect um yeah he doesn't stand well though and I'm pretty sure that's a problem with the actual one too because um, this is just how he's it's this is designed because of his uh, feet there he has very, uh, very old Japanese style sandals. Where let's just see. I don't like this lighting, but it's better than than having to. Yeah, no shadows. Okay, uh, weird angle, but whatever. Uh, anyway, he comes also with. To open palm hands, uh, one for each side, except there's a, a mistake of some sorts because there's a, an extra left side one, but it's labeled right side, so that is a little weird. And hang on, I'll just need to find it because I forgot to bring it. Yeah, so he also comes with a Rasengan hand uh, for his left hand. <laughs> yeah, and that's all the accessories that he has. So let's talk about the figure itself. First thing you notice about this again the bootleg version, the red uh, like vest coat, I don't know what you call a robe. It's not really a robe, well whatever. Um, it's sticky. It's rubbery and it's sticky. And I, I wiped it off and I cleaned it with like rubbing alcohol. Uh, didn't do much. I mean it did. It felt fine, but now. After a few days, I'm touching it again, and it's sticky again, so I kind of really don't want to touch him. Yeah, oh, 
forgot to mention, he also comes with a pair of crossed arms there in a drawer somewhere, so that's that stays there. Um, yeah. First thing you can tell, just looking at him, you can see the joints are a little bit off. They're not what they're supposed to be. Uh, mainly the shoulder ones. Uh, you can see they when they copied, I guess, the legit ones mold. Uh, they left the butterfly joint extended, so that leaves the arm on a weird, awkward angle and very like exposed. So that's a little bit of an annoying, but you can fix that. You can see I, I shaved a little bit off that axis plastic uh, just to make it more uh, natural looking, but still there's, it's still on that weird angle, the ball joint itself, the, the holes in the torso, that's uh, bad, but what other thing that's bad is the neck and head joints they're well I'm pretty sure they're not the original ones they're not even the same uh, design as the original ones so that's why his head is a little too high and his neck was originally too high but I took it off the joint and just glued it in because it has the same joint system as that ponytail and the ponytail just broke I had to drill a hole in the in the hair piece itself and switch the the joints the pegs um, that was a little bit of of extra work that I didn't want to do but whatever it's Jiraiya I wanted Jiraiya you can't really get this figure it was uh, an exclusive I believe uh, a web exclusive. Maybe you can still get it, but I, I I doubt it. Same with Madara, and I know the same is with Rock Lee. Like they didn't even make bootlegs of Rock Lee. So one day I'm going to have to hunt down the real one, and it's gonna be so costly. Um. But yeah, I don't even want a bootleg of Rock Lee because he deserves uh, like the real deal. Uh, but Jirai is dead, so we don't care. Or is it Kajin Go Kojin right now? Or Kajin Koshin? I don't know anymore. Um, yeah, so spoilers everyone. They cloned him. So now he has his sort of back, but then he died again. So I don't know. I don't read Boruto that much. I don't read it anymore. I know Sasuke got uh, lost his eye, and that Kurama is now dead. Um, yeah. So Kishimoto is like back riding it, and for like two chapters, that's all he did so far. Two chapters. And he completely destroyed all the <clears throat> the power ups he gave Naruto and Sasuke in the in the in the in the end in the end of Shippuden. So, um, what is he doing with that? Where is he going? I get he wants to nerf them because they're like god level strength right now, and Boruto is just not that kind of of show it's I mean have you seen Boruto compared to the original Naruto it's very very tame so yeah anyway uh, the detail on him is pretty nice I guess they copied pretty much exactly uh, although I know this like end coats the coattails or whatever of his robe um, I don't know if this is exactly a gi it, it kind of similar to to a gi like I know because I was 
for like seven years in uh, a karate class, but well, that was white. But it looks it looked pretty much the same as this, but white, you know. At least the the robe parts. Yeah, pants are pants. All the pants look the same, pretty much, right? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, very detailed, I guess, compared to a bootleg, because sometimes when you get a bootleg, uh, a lot of the sculpting becomes softer, and that's not good, but with the Jirai, and I forgot to show off his face, this is, whatever, I don't want to do that right now, I don't care, it comes with a couple other faces, like, uh, winking, grout, grinning one, he comes with a happy one, like when he introduces himself and goes into the Kabuki pose. Uh, you know, the Gamma Sun in Jiraiya, or whatever pose that he has. And then a, a, like, a yelling pose, or, you know, a yelling face where he's, like, hurt, or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that. And also this fairly neutral smirking face uh, looking off to the side sort of I, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be looking straight forward but to me it looks like he's looking off to the side uh, maybe just a misprint or something yeah and the way you take it off you just unplug it like this and the face and the hair are supposed to be like in one piece and then you take this off and switch the face but this is how you plug it back, like, in one piece. Yeah. So, for articulation, let's start from the top and bottom. So, you have the ponytail. It goes up, down, and swivels in both ends. Um, in both ends. So, yeah. Um, damn it. You have up and down in the neck, like slight tilt and rolling. Yeah, nothing in the neck itself because I glued it. There's ball joints in the shoulders, it goes up this much, not much. And there's a bicep swivel. Elbow joint goes about that much. <clears throat> Wrist goes up and down and there's a swivel. There's a ball joint in both the torso, in, in both the mid section and the waist. And it swivels as well. So that's nice. Um, his legs can't really move much. Um, so that's a problem, but the joints are there. There are ball joints in both hips. It's just the plastic there is too hard, so you can't move the legs. <laughs> Sorry. Um, his knees goes that far back. Ankles goes up, down. There's a very slight rocker. doesn't really work much. And then there is this... Is it broken? And something just fell off. Yeah, and then there's this toe hinge. Yeah. So, for scale, here he is with... The real deal SHV Guards Naruto. My custom Sasuke, that is both parts. This is like two parts bootleg, two parts Figma. Like the joints are all Figma and <clears throat> whatever. Um, yeah, let's show this one. So we have your Gara. Um, this guy sucks. 
you can just see right this the plastic is bad all the joints are not just off but they're not good you see they like froze half of it and then did it like a a two dollar toy thing um, but it works for display purposes let's have Madara 2 you can see he has the Iron Man leg because he didn't come with one I made one but I didn't like it so I just swapped this one and here we have Kakashi which is pretty much my entire Naruto figure arts collection a bird just flew into my window cast the weird shadow and left <clears throat> okay so that is that more for scales uh, here we have SHV Arts Goku Which is funny to me that Goku's mm, really close to Jiraiya's age in uh, Super. Yeah, he's like 43, he's in his early 50s or something like that. Here we have um, Marvel Legends Pizza Spider Man uh, for, you know, the usual size uh, 6 inch figures. And for more. Spider-Man, uh, we have the Mafix one, which is so far my favorite Spider-Man figure ever, probably one of my favorites figure, favorite figures ever, um, which is pretty cool. And here we have the SH figure, it's PS4 Spider-Man, which I will do a review soon. I'm just waiting on a the, on a custom uh, maskless head that I will paint and do a video on both, like at once. Um, that should be nice. But yeah, that's about it. Overall, for ten dollars, it's it's a really nice figure. It's a really nice figure, a really nice, like, attempt at a, at the bootleg SH figure arts. I mean, I'm pretty sure the people who made that are the same people who made uh, this guy. Uh, because the joints are the same. Yeah. Uh, but so far, out of bootlegs uh, in everything. Uh, this is pre pretty much the best you can hope for. Uh, it is exactly like the SH figure arts. Even in terms of paint, almost exactly. Um, just slightly different plastic, I guess. But <clears throat> it's a really good one. I do recommend Kakashi. Uh, never get him. Never get him. This guy sucks. He can't even move anything. His arms broke off instantly, so he has to stay with these ones. But this guy is nice. If you see him in like AliExpress or eBay for like ten to fifteen dollars, get it. Any more, don't. It's not good enough. It's sticky for display purposes. And if you can't get the actual one, sure. Um, my recommendation get the actual one if you can although it is very pricey um, whatever anyway I hope you enjoyed leave a, a comment if you want uh, soon uh, I don't know how soon because it's still I'm waiting on the shipment but I ordered a 
a bunch of bootleg Naruto's, not like this ones, the, the newer ones, the Sage One ones. And I will do a... Uh, well, I, I will do a review on that, but I also will do a, a custom um, tutorial. Yeah, I'll do a custom tutorial on how to make the uh, Sage of Six Path mode. And that will be on one of them. I don't, one of them for sure will just be a, like a, a shadow clone on my display, but the other one I'm not sure. I got three of those. They cost like three dollars each, which was super weird on AliExpress. Uh, they're not available anymore. I checked, so I can't give you the, the name of the seller. Um, but yes, yeah, so I will do a, a tutorial because so many people asked. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that, subscribe, leave a like, um, tell me if you want me to do also the, um, what's called, the KCM, the Cube Chakra mode, Naruto on the third one that will be there, um, I might do that, not sure, it's, it's pretty easy custom to do, it's just repainting it. Uh, the Sage of Six Paths is slightly more um, advanced, I suppose. Not really, but just slightly. Anyway, hope you liked it. I will see you guys later.